subscribe to our channel today i'm going to be sharing a very quick recipe on how i make egg goosey pepper soup and these are just the ingredients that you need basically any leftover protein that you have at home so i've got some uh, meat stock from before i've got fish um, grilled and pepper soup spices um, i've got onions salt cameroon pepper crayfish seasoning cube scotch bonnet and then egg goosey of course i haven't got um, dry shrimp so i'm just going to be making use of some of this fresh one so i'm going to go ahead and blend my pepper soup spices and um, come back and show you how it's done stay tuned guys so guys i've just gone ahead to blend my pepper soup spice add a little bit of crayfish because it was really small i wanted it to come out so i added some more crayfish to that and as you can see i've got um, stockfish fillet you know basically this soup is just adding whatever leftover stuff that you have at home it's a quick meal my mom used to make growing up you know when you feel like there's nothing at home you know what can i just eat like sharp sharp food a goosey pepper soup was one staple ninja delta food that would just come up and you know it always tastes so nice so i've also gone ahead to blend my egusi with my pepper and onions and i'm just going to show you how it's done so i'll be adding a little bit of water because you know what's pepper soup without water i mean it has to be very plenty water now then i'm now going to go ahead and add my meat stock and my meats and fish and everything everything is already pre-cooked so i'm not really going to spend so much time i just want to bring this to boil a little and then add my pepper spice in there once that has gotten to the point where i want it to cook then i can now go ahead and add my um, egusi and that's it really basically so i'm just gonna wait, allow this boil a little add my pepper soup spice and add the crayfish seasoning cube and then the egusi goes in last so stay tuned guys so as you can see this is started boiling and my shrimps is gonna go in there and at this point i just add my seasoning cubes All of this in there but it's just spice crayfish cameroon pepper and salt so that's just gonna go in you see how it just changes immediately like so I'm just gonna let this boil for like a further maybe five minutes because I really want the sauce to really go inside the meat and the fish and I'll come back and check when it's properly boiled. So guys this has been boiling for about say three to five minutes and I just want to check to be sure that my salt and you know seasoning and everything is just right the way I want. If I can go ahead and add my um, eggs to the mix. So I'll just be testing. Yeah, yeah, spices is okay. The pepper soup is not so overbearing. The it's fine. So I think now is a good time to add my goosey um, and pepper mix into the boil. And I'll just mix that. Goosey has a way of um, becoming thick, so. Just allow it to boil a little once it starts to cook you see how it's picking up already okay guys this has been boiling for a further five minutes i just want to check to be sure that i have enough water in there you know it still looks like a soupy and um just to show you what the final product looks like so guys this is what it looks like i'm just going to be staring to be sure that my goosey is properly cooked and this is a meal that you can eat with anything. You can eat with pound dough, you can eat with starch, you can eat with curry, you know, anything it just goes. And it's very easy, very simple, very um, tasty as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and share this video.
because you never can tell who needs this yummy recipe. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Thank you.